Hello friends I welcome you all to online learning today i am going to discuss about the infosys puzzle solving questions that are asked in system engineer role so as you all know there are four puzzles in infosys and you have a time of 10 minutes so it's quite a long time but the questions are also tricky so you have to be in a calm mind and then solve the question i will take some previous year questions and the types which you can see in your exam so let us start in this question what it is written consider the following equations and determine the answer of the last question so we have to find the answer of the last by determining or solving this equations so they are very easy just you have to analyze them carefully so if you see this there are three different figures so it will be difficult for you to find a value from this line but here you can see all the figures are of same type so you can what you can do three arrows r is equal to 90 so one arrow will be how much 30 so you got the value of arrow now if you see here you have in this line two circles and one arrow you know the value of arrow so put it so two circles will be equal to 80 minus 30 which is equal to 50 so one circle will be equal to 25 now you know the value of arrow you know the value of circle so now put it arrow arrow value is 30 so circle divided by triangle will be how much 5 then you know circle value is 25 so 25 by triangle is equal to 5 or 5 triangle is equal to 25 therefore triangle is equal to 5 now you know the values of triangle so you can directly put it 5 into 5 plus plus circle you also know the value of circle that is 25 so 5 into 5 25 plus 25 your answer will be 50 so the questions are very easy just you have to analyze from which part you can easily get the answer because you have to also maintain the time you cannot waste your time so hope you have understood if you have any problem then please let me know in the comment section now let us move to the next question okay in the following questions select the number which can be placed at the sign of question mark from the given alternatives okay so let us try to find the pattern from here you can see uh i can tell you a trick that always try to find the pattern from those figures where you can see you have the numbers which is divisible by 2 5 or 10 in between you have number 30 then it will be easy for you to analyze let here you can see that 5 and 4 is there 5 into 4 is 20 and 5 into 2 is 10 and 20 plus 10 is equal to 30 you get the logic here but is it right or not you have to check it in this figure let us check 5 into 3 is 15 Plus six into four 
is 24 you get 39 so your logic is right now just put it here so 8 into 6 plus 5 into 4 that will be 48 plus 20 it will be 68 will be your answer hope you have understood now let us move to the next question again you have to find what will be there in the question mark portion now i will advise you to learn squares of numbers at least up to 20 and cubes of the number at least 10 then most of the questions you can easily solve and find the logic why i am telling you you can see it here if you know you can do it up to do it up to 25 then it will be easy and this up to 10 okay so you know 11 into 11 will be 121 now if you know squares up to 25 then you will know that 22 into 22 is 484 then you can find the logic 11 equal into 11 then 22 into 22 then here the unit digit is 9 you can get unit digit 9 by 3 into 3 only so you can check it it is 33 squared that is 33 into 33 then now you can get it that it would be 44 into 44 it would be 55 into 55 then your answer should be 66 into 66 so let me check what will be the value of 66 into 60 66 into 66 that will be 4356 4356 will be your answer so if you know the squared values up to 25 and q values up to 20 up to 10 then you can easily find the solution of most of the questions now let us move to the next question in the following question select the number which can be placed at the sign of question mark from the given alternatives now again to find the trick now you can see that it is 90 then you can analyze that yeah 9 and 10 can become 120 and you also know here that 8 and 9 is 72 so you can see 9 and 10 difference of 1 8 and 9 difference of 1 so you can think let us try by 11 and 12 is it matching yes 11 and 12 is 132 then it should be 10 into 11 that is it should be 110 your answer will be 110 so you have solved four questions in around five minutes and you have to do only this in the exam just remember the answers or the equations or the values up to 25 of squares and 10 cubes up to 10 and then keep your mind fresh and be calm you can solve the questions easily hope you have liked the session if you want to practice more questions tell me and in the comment section i will come up with more such questions thank you and have a nice day ahead